My sight might know you're talking. Though. Oh, what? Are we starting? Yeah. Are we good? Nope. Lights, camera, action! What's up? We are here at Bison Overland with my new friend Dustin. How's it going? And he's got a super sweet garage camper. Yes, we do. It's probably my favorite of the Bison campers today. And uh, Drew, the owner of Bison, had a thing or two to do with that, didn't you, Drew? A little bit. A little bit. A little bit. But yeah, we just wanted to show you guys, talk a little bit about like what you're using it for. It's yep. it's built like 100% around you, and sure. and the garage yep. is a, is a big feature. So yeah, what do you say? We we'll go check it out a little, huh, guys? Let's do it. Now. Let's check it out. So yeah, we're, we're yeah. wrapping up a few, just a little finishing touches before we get it installed. And uh, we've still got the awning going on. Uh, that's one of the, the, well, the, one of many COVID issues with supply and demand. Uh, the awnings are, are hard to get, but we found one. Nice. Might have been one of the last ones. Yeah. Do you say it was the Dometic? It's a Dometic. It's yep. the 10 foot manual. Ten I think it's the 231 model. Yeah, the legless one. So no, yep. no legs that put out. That should be. I love those. That's what I had on the Dog Mahal. And I was telling you, I think it's like you can put it out for five minutes and then put it in. It's yeah. easy. Yeah. yeah. And one of the big things I wanted to do, reason, one of the reasons we use this size door is to have where the awning can flat mount to the mm -hmm. wall. Um, because the ones that are spaced off, if it's raining pretty good, you know, obviously you want to get your chair up close and hunker in. Yeah. And then we've got the turn door, turn over line. I think we've, we've done a whole video just featuring the door, haven't we? Uh, yeah, again, not planned. I, I videoed this door and I loved it so much. I was like, it needs its own video. Yeah. I'm, yeah, I'm pumped on having that on my camper as well. Love the door. Yeah, the, the uh, really good for dogs. The dog's not going to get through that. And it's three point lock. So they advertise that you can, if it's cool enough, you can just sleep and lock this out. And you'll be pretty secure. Oh, um, cool! So that's. Nice I didn't situation. even think about that. So yeah. yeah, that's like really, really a thick mesh, nice. bear proof. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Don't it, test it. On their website, where <laughs> like a bear's claw can't get through it. Yeah, but um, just you know, one of its claw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah it's, it's one claw. If you're, if you're having that much of an intimate conversation with the bear, you got other problems. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, uh, Got the garage up here, which is, uh, but Dustin can kind of talk about the inspiration for that. Um, so yeah, I mean, this thing was built 100% around mountain bikes. Um, you know, we've got, I spent years with bikes hanging off the backs of trucks, off the fronts of trucks, out of tailgates, all that kind of fun stuff. And sometimes they jump off, sometimes people assist them jumping off. So, <laughs> uh, we, uh, we really wanted bikes inside. Um, so that I literally drove the dimensions for like 90 percent of the rest of the camper was the size of the garage but yeah nice aluminum slide you said this is rated for like 1200 pounds yeah, or like a thousand pounds thousand yeah. pounds yeah that's crazy full extension so yeah the plan is two bikes in here kind of front to back um fork mounts uh bars turned sideways so should be pretty dope. that's what i get to build when i get home With some more designs so it should be pretty it should be pretty rad oh my gosh that's scary what Slide them in. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that is funny. And so yeah. It's definitely rated for about 230 pounds. Yeah, about that. <laughs> Mountain bikes should be okay. Yeah. And yeah, you can just kind of, you know, you can freak your friends out. Just have cover in the cloth here. Warning the following scene is a little weird and morbid. Uh, viewer discretion is advised. Um, you can see it's full extension. <laughs> I think it's rated up to a thousand pounds, so we should be dialed. Uh, so yeah, super excited about it. Uh, should be, should be really. Oh, uh, I can't. I'm over here filming this like this. Oh, come on, show your face. He's, he's good. Oh, this is he's, the outtake. He's, he's smiling. Outtake. That's so creepy. This wasn't my idea, I swear. And the other cool thing about this is you have a massive cab over. So you can sleep north south yep. and you and your wife, like one of you can get up earlier, get out of bed. The, you're not blocking the other one in. Yeah, I mean, I'm 6'3", I'm so the north south sleeping was a big deal for me. Um, yeah, I mean, I've slept sideways in plenty of campers before and that, that is, those extra few inches make a, make a big difference, so. All right, the grand reveal. Oh, Are you ready? 
Give it a little love from Kodo Girl first. What do you think? Can I touch it? <laughs> You're, I love how you're just like, it's real. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's pretty neat, huh? <laughs> so much room! <laughs> so much room! Second bedroom in there, too. <laughs> yeah, the electrical system is no joke on this. Of this. We're wrapping up all the wiring, and the mounting points for, for all this is temporary because Dustin's going to go back home, fish out these walls, put a bunch of gear mounts on and everything. So. Rather than him having to redo everything we did, depending on how he's gonna set it up, we just put some temporary pieces in to hold these in place for now. Mm -hmm. So we've got the Manager 30 from Red Arc sitting here that does all the charging. Uh, so this is our, our solar wires that are gonna come over. We've got 200 watts of Zampa's Obsidian panels on the roof. So these will come over. This will uh, charge for the AC, which we're using this. Let's go right here, we're using the smart plug that, uh, Dustin came about, which is a good option here um, nice for, for our AC charging. And then we'll have the DC charging come, coming from the truck that'll come in here mm -hmm. and go to the Manager 30. And then we've got the, uh, the Kotec 2000 watt inverter. The nice thing about the Kotec, the reason we use these, they uh, easily communicate. They, they've got a data port that communicates with the Red Arc. So in the Red Vision system, you can monitor all that. It's, they're tucked in here so nicely. We've got our actuators that help uh, lift the roof up. They're yeah. tucked in here. These things are super lightweight, amazing compared to the ones I had in the Dodger Hall. They have a small little uh, control unit up here so they perfectly every time go up and down at the same time. So mm -hmm. if you don't have that over time, they can kind of get off and that's, that's not gonna be good for a roof. So it can be for storage or you can have, set up utilities. But the big thing is I never liked having to get down on the ground in yeah. the camper. Uh -huh. So if it is utilities, you can easily just open that up and, you know, reach in there. And, um, and uh, or you can use them as a table if you're working. We need to maybe see it nice, be nice if these had like a quick disconnect. If it's yeah. easier to get in there, you could just drop them down flush. Mm -hmm. um, just figure out some sort of even maybe if it's a carabiner or I don't know. But. I think that'd be a good option because it's really nice, you know, if you're working, like say he's, you know, working on the system here or something, just have a, a tabletop just real quick. It's always really Yeah, or like grabbing the mountain bikes, you put your helmet on that. Like we yeah. literally did that in your last yeah. one. <laughs> here, here. Yeah. So we got that. So we've got, we've still got some, uh, we've got some little mounting panels that's going to go on this side. You know, like I said, button a few things up. And uh, got some L track on the back wall. L track on the back. Do you want to talk about the, the jack mounts too? Yeah, so we haven't talked a lot about that and we'll we'll see it um, once we get it mounted up and everything. So uh, we've, Dustin helped us work up this design of uh, rather than having the jack mounts, you know, all the way up higher. So it's lower center of gravity, kind of like you've probably seen some canopies in, in Australian setups where it's essentially a, a bracket that slides in the receiver and the jacks mount to it. Um, it's it's a little it's it, it gets the center gravity lower and it's just also easier because you know you don't have the bracket that stays on all the time that's catching on stuff that can be pulled off and it's also even with those it's always a pain to go around and, and bolt the, the jacks on uh -huh. so it'd be nice all you got to do is you got it on the truck and you want to take it off you just slide those in far enough and you're good and then you get it uh, you get it however you want you slide them out set them aside. And that's it. Yeah. This is the first one with our new three-layer insulated canvas. We've uh, we've even even our exterior canvas. We've we've gone up in the quality of, of uh, material. Try to get the best we could for it. So it's got this vinyl coated polyester on the outside, and then the very inside layer is um, umbrella. Umbrella. Yeah. So it's breathable, uh, waterproof as well. And then you got the insulate insulation going down the middle. It's uh, fully round, even for the for the window covers. It has the insulation. We've ran the um, the bottom of it. We've essentially got like flashing here. So if water sits here, uh, it's going to drain out under here. There's no seam where it can go back inside. So we've tried to, you know, kind of just 
tighten up all of our corners and, and everything. So. Love this camper. In the next video, we'll hop in the interior, show you some of the interior systems, as well as the CNC design that Dustin has. So comment, let me know what you think of this awesome garage camper, and smack the like if you enjoyed the video. Make sure you're subscribed. We'll see you on the next one. The only question is, are you down to my bye-bye?